In the front videos, we have finished the preparatory work, so today we will show you how to submit the task. In submit content, it is to manage your blog accounts and sites, and then use these accounts and sites to submit content automatically. Here are two options we can select. One is the manage blog account option, the other is the content submit task option. Manage blog account is to custom a blog account category and add blog accounts to this category to manage conveniently. Content submit task is to create task and then submit it. Now content bomb only support WordPress and Blogger. But in next version you will be able to add any blog account and any site to submit content. Before we submit content, we need to add some accounts and sites for it at first. Here we will add two accounts as an example. One is for the WordPress, and the other is for the Blogger. Click Add Category button to custom category for your account. Input any name for it, and then click Save. First, fill in your account and site information for the WordPress. Here, we will show you how to get the blog name and URL. Login in your WordPress account at first, and then find your account basic information. Copy the username to blog name and web address to the URL one by one. After finish all, click Add Account. Now, add an account for the blogger. Here, we will show you how to get the blog name and blog ID. Log in in your blogger account at first. And then find your account basic information. Copy the title to blog name. And then find the blog ed. Copy it, and then paste it to this place. After finish all, click Add Account. Besides, if you still cannot understand how to fill this information, please click the Check Example option to see the detailed document about how to fill in these values. Select it, and you can click the Edit button to rename it. Check it, and you can click the delete button to delete it. Now, we have finished adding the account. So, let's go to introduce this option content submit task. Recently, there are two kinds of task that we can create. One is to create the blog task, and the other is to create content task. Blog task is to submit the content to the blog. Content task is to use Botchief to submit any content to any site. Here, we will introduce them one by one. 1. How to submit the content to WordPress. Click the Create Submit Task button to select the Submit WordPress task. In this interface, here input any name for your WordPress task. These two options are to select which content you want to submit. One is from the local file and the other is to scrape from the content source. Select this option, here, click the Browse button to get the content file that you need. Note, these contents submitted to WordPress must contain some special format. Let's click this to have a look. See. C. 
check this option, and the program will submit different content every time if the content file you selected has more than one articles. Select this option. Here, click this button to set some value for the scrape. The settings for scrape content are very similar with the content creator task and create content. But only the WordPress and Blogger content template can be selected here. Select one template that you need. This part is to set some value for the template. In front video, we have introduced the functions one by one, so here we will not describe it again. But, if you are still confusion, please set the value for them like we do. After set all, click save. Here, we will use local content to submit, because later we will show you how to submit the content scraped from internet to blogger when we create blogger task. Input some tags for you content, and it will be convenient for others to search your content through these tags. This one is to classify your content, and this is to make sure the submit amount. Besides, you can check this option, and then post a comment for your content you just submitted. Here, select an account to submit the content. Or check this to select all accounts. Here, select the spinner tool to process the content you are going to submit. And we have shown you how to set some value for it in our front video. For the ping site selection, it is to put the rank of the content submitted by you to the first position on the ping site you selected and you can select one or more ping site. After finish all, click create task button. In this interface, you can click these two edit button to modify the value you just set. Click delete button to delete the task. Click run button. In this interface, Set the task run type. This one is only to run one time. This one is to run once at a certain time. Check this option. Here are three options which can be selected. This one means run once per three minutes. This one means run once per hour. This one means run once per day 1 hour 3 minutes. Here, in order to show you the result, I will select this one to run it. Besides, if this task is not the one you want to run, you can click the stop button to have a pause. The run log shows it has completed. So, 
let's log in in the account and then check whether the program has sent the content to the site automatically. See, it has finished this successfully. Two, how to use Botchief module to submit content to Blogger? Click the Create Submit Task button to select the Submit Content Task. In this interface, here input any name for your content task. This part is to use Botchief module created before to submit your content. Click this button to select the module you have created before. Now, I will briefly show you how to create this template. Open White Hat Box App, and then find Botchief Editor to open it. Here, you can use it to customize your own template. We have created many templates using this software. Check this link, to view how we create the template we need. Or log in in our official site. Here, if you select yes, when the task is running, it will be available for you to view the total running process. If you select no, even if it is not available for you to view the running process, but you can get the hint from the run log the task runs completed. This part is to scrape the content from internet and then process it. We have introduced it before. Click this button to set the settings for the scrape content. Here, when you select the template, you must be sure that the template you selected must include this special format or else when you assign the account value to the Botchief module, there will be no value to show up. About the special format, we have introduced it when we create the WordPress task. Set the value for the template. After finishing scraping content from internet, now choose a spinner tool to process the content. About the settings, we have introduced it in our last video. So if you are still not familiar with it, please view the last videos to know how to set the value for it. Here, select the account to submit content that you need. In this part, this one is the required option, and this is the optional. Then assign the account value to this module. About why do we need to assign the account value to this module? Please learn about how to make module with Botchief Editor at first, and then you will understand how to assign the account value to the module. After finish all, click Create Task button. Now, let's run the task to check the result.
After we get the hint from the run log task 2 is completed. Logging in your blogger account to make sure the result. See, it has submitted the content to the blogger successfully. Besides, you can click this button to run all the tasks that you created. Because the limitation of time, so we will directly click stop button to stop them. That is all, thanks for watching.